Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Yaroslava. This channel is all about art, inspiration and creativity. So if you like these kinds of topics, please consider to subscribe. Today's topic is how to create your own art style vision board or mood board, if you will. This kind of thing could be helpful if you are working on developing your own art style or working on some big or small personal art projects or doing commissions. This mood board can help you to understand if everything you are going to put in your art project is going well together. I will give you an example of how to create your own vision board for your art style or your project. As I walk you through my process of creating my own vision board. So, now I will bring you to my computer and show you all the steps. First of all, we will write some keywords which describe the art style we are aiming for. I personally love Rococo style, but even if you don't have the particular style in mind, just write down what you love to draw. For example, I like to draw pretty girls, roses, some Rococo style ornaments, also fashion like pretty dresses. My paintings often are very gentle with pastel, col pastel colors. I like dreamy scenes and I love portraits. These keywords will come in handy when you will choose pictures which inspire you or motivate you to, to draw or paint or do other art projects. Now the fun part. Go to Pinterest or any other website with images and save the pictures you are feeling inspired by or which meets your keywords you wrote in the beginning. Just type in search bar what you wrote and also you can add word aesthetics in the end for more moody pictures. Now I go to my favorite app I use to create collages. But you could also use a pink monkey on can or Canva. This is just my personal preference. You can drag your pictures to the places you like them to see it, just tossing them to create a good looking vision board. When all is done, save the collage to your hard drive because we will need it there later. Last step is optional, but I like to add some color scheme to the vision board so it's easier for me to know what colors to choose from my artworks. I opened this image with Paint app. If you have Photoshop or something similar, use that. And I just look at my images here on the vision board and pick colors I see here. I create colored squares and put it aside these images. When it's done, I'm saving this on my hard drive once more. And this is your finished vision board or mood board as I call it. You can put it on your computer desktop or print it out and stick to your sketchbook. So there you have it, a pretty and inspiring vision board for your upcoming art projects. You can also use this vision board as a tool to develop your own art style like I do. But if you already have developed your art style, please 
comment down below and describe your art style in a few words. And if you have an Instagram account, please did leave it down below in the comments so I can give it a look. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye!